Meru County may as well be called the proverbial land of milk and honey. From tea, mira, banana and dairy farming, this region is among the most fertile places in Kenya. As we drove between the scenic hills of Tigania East, we couldn't help but marvel at the greenery. The tea plantations on the foothills and natural forests at the top where the clouds come down making temperatures drop to a chilling 16 degrees centigrade. Here we come across a very famous spring known as Higa Reyangotu, believed to heal barrenness in women. Dairy Farms was here in search of farmers who are dropping tea farming to take up dairy farming. 30-year-old Paul Kaberia is one such farmer. He hails from Ankamia here in Tigania East Sub-County and this is his story. Paul says that he was drawn into dairy farming after starting various small businesses that eventually failed. Despite facing a myriad of challenges such as sourcing for feeds, he has never looked back since. Biasari iko poa sababu saizi naona ile ela napata ni nzuri kuliko ile kazi zingine nilikuwa nimeanza. Kazi ile nilikuwa nimeanza nilikuwa nimeanza biashara ya kuuza bitu ili mali mali. Sasa nikaona hiyo yaende poa. Zile zile ziliopo ni kana kwamba hizo hii kazi sana sana wakati wa kiangazi ndio inakuanga na tabizo sababu wakati huu wa mvua tunaenda mtu anaenda anatafuta na tano wasukua ngunia unaenda unatafuta nyazi kwa shamba lakini wakati mwingine kiangazi kikuja mtu anakuuliza hii hey, kazi kweli utaweza ama hautaweza unamjibu tu kwa kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu tu kwa sababu ulianza na Mungu ndiye anaongoza mtu pale ataenda sisi hatujui sababu Mungu ndiye anasaidia mtu anaenda place hapo pale pekine tulikaanza hivyo hivyo majani kutafuta kidogo kidogo kwa vijiji huko kwa mashamba lakini watu wanasema eti uwezi anza kazi wanaona kama uwezi lakini unajaribu tu kungangana feeds in dairy farming account for over half of the cost of production it is advisable to first know where you're going to source for your feeds before going into the business it can be said that dairy cows can be compared to a factory this means that what it is fed on determines to a large extent the quality and quantity of milk produced for a healthy and productive cow feed rations should have a balance of quantity quality amounts of concentrates protein mineral and vitamins Example of fodder includes napier grass, boma roots, lucerne, desmodium and sweet potato vines. Napier grass is best intercropped with desmodium, harvested and fed together. After calving, a dairy cow should be fed 3 kg of concentrates that is dairy meal per day depending on individual production. The animals may be challenged further by increasing their dairy meal rations for up to an optimal level. It is therefore important that a farmer knows the nutritional requirements of a dairy cow to provide adequate rations to meet its production and reproductive requirements. Paul Caberia feeds his cows with a mixture of napier grass for protein and hay for dry matter content and daily meal for concentrates. He narrates to us how he learned to feed his animals. <laughs> kule kwa kina bakira itu kaenda nikakuta 
mtu mmoja tu tulikaketi na zini kamuliza hii kazi yako unaianza aje kwanza kabisa kaniambia kulingana vile inakuanga tatizo inakuanga moja tu ya chakula ya ngombe ukijua hiyo tatizo unayesaidelea kamuliza tatizo kaa gani akaniambia kwanza kabisa unaangalia chakula ya ngombe alafu baadaye unaenda unatafuta ile dry 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 matters alafu unachanganya na ile nepium grass yo kido kido unaona kaa ngombe inaendelea ama lakini round za kwanza ngombe inakonda sana sababu haijasoea ile chakula so unaifunza tu kido kido hivyo hivyo alafu nikaona kamuliza kuna kitu kingine unapeanga kaniambia kuna vitu vingine aina ya chakula unachachanganya wakati unaona kiangazi mmesitu unaenda unaenda unatafuta majani ya chini unaunganisha una na nepia grass alafu na hiyo eh ma ni dry matters alafu unachanganya unaikata kata unachanganya unaweka pale pamoja unaletea ngombe unachanganya unaiwekea Dairy farmers are also advised to visit different successful farms to learn more about the business. This is not an easy farming venture to take up, and so farmers should arm themselves with good managerial skills. Moreover, research about the demand of dairy products in your local area, whether the climate is suitable or not, how much time and money is required raising a calf to milk producing age. Paul narrates to us his journey from starting with one cow to owning 20. Pia nilianza nilianza ngombe moja nikaona kaa nikajiuliza kweli nitaweza mimi mwenyewe nikanjazia sababu kazi ni kazi nikaanza kuitafutia chakula hapa nikaona nimeweza ngombe moja ikawekwa bleed na daktari nikaita daktari kutoka bali akaweka bleed ile nataka alafu baadaye hiyo inaendelea hivyo nikaona hii iko poa nikaenda nikanua ngombe nyingine upande wa upande huu unaitwa Mente please kuna hapo kunaitwa kadhera kuna best yangu tulikuwa na hapo kama nikaenda nikamnunulia hiyo ngombe nikakuja nayo nikaendelea hapo hivi hivi nikaona hata hiyo naweza kutoka hapo nikaendelea nikaona maziwa yangu pando ina improve ngombe moja nilikuwa napata maziwa mingi sababu ile nilikuwa napata maziwa na uzika watu wanakuja wananunua sababu nilikuwa naanza tu safari tulikuwa tumeenda tukatembea hivi tulikuwa watu watatu tukiwa tunatembea nikaenda ku, kuangalia niba mwingine alikuwa hapo sasa alikuwa ametoka hapo ndio kwetu tukaenda huko nikamuona kanielezea nikaona ako na ngombe nzuri e, kamuliza bono uko na ngombe nzuri hivi si unaweza niuzia kamoja hapa at least niende pia mimi nisikie kaa niko mwanaume kutoka hapo nikaenda nikanunua pesa nilinunua 1000 50000 tu sababu tulikuwa rafiki na yeye akaniambia hata hata niongezea pesa mingi vile sababu hiyo ilikuwa inatoka kama 100000 alafu baadaye nikanunua 50 tu kwa ubesti nikakuja nikaangalia nikaona kama itaweza akaniambia wewe anza na hiyo baadaye utanielezea kunaenda bipi By doing a market research you can get an idea on what breed to invest on what should be your hard size and how much you will need to invest a good market research also helps in risk management as you're somehow prepared for the challenges coming your way to invest for the first time you will need a good investment budget these are some of the things you should keep in mind as managing a dairy farm is not that easy a proper area where you will set up your farm dry sheds and barns to protect the animals from bad weather milking parlors and sufficient water supply kaberia tells us more about his investment journey ndio apili nilikuwa upande wa imenti kadhera nilikaa kwa muda miaka miwili hivi kabla ninue hiyo ngombe ya pili kwanza kabisa nilienda nikaangalia yale masiwa napata na ile faida napata nikapiga hesabu yangu nikaona kwa kila siku eh, mia mbili kwa, kwa mfuko ile naweka kando nikiwa natoa kila kitu sasa nikaenda nikafukua akaunti nikaweka hiyo 200 200 nikakaa miaka miwili zile pesa nikaongeza nikanunua ngombe wa pili nilinua hiyo ngombe ya pili nilikuwa nilinua 60,000 60,000 kwanza kabisa ngombe wa kwanza alinipea dama pili kwa hiyo miaka miwili niliweka breed mwaka wa kwanza nikajikanisalia alafu baadaye after 3 months kasi mama tena nikaenda nika ikawekwa bulindi kanipea ndamo wa pili 
baadaye ndio nilienda miaka hiyo miwili nikaenda ile maziwa sababu kuna pesa nilikuwa naweka kwa account nikaongezea zile pesa sababu unaenda unatafuta pande nyingine pesa unaenda nikaongezea alafu kutoka hapo nikanua ngombe ya pili naye ilikuwa imewekwa eh bleedi sasa ilikuwa na miezi mitatu nikaona sasa hiyo ya kwanza nimeimprove sababu ilikuwa sita ngangana kuweka ingine nikakuja nayo ika size ikawa ngombe zote sikawa tano sababu ile ya kwanza ilikuwa na ndama mbili pamoja na na mama wa hiyo ngombe hiyo hiyo sio ndama alafu ya pili nayo ngombe na ndama na mtoto ya, yake hapo sasa sikawa zote ngombe tano kaelea vizuri kwa miaka mitano hivi nikaona sasa zile zingine zinaendelea tu kungroo hivyo hivyo nikaona napata faida 